things I love to make are primitive candles. You can make them for Christmas or you can just make them for your own home use. And I use soybean wax. And so this is soybean wax. It comes in chips. And then about once every two years, I'll buy a five pound bag of it. A little bit goes a long way. Today we're going to make pumpkin caramel crunch. Mm. And they're going to look so primitive. One of the things that I like to do to make things look primitive is I use tea bags. These are used spent tea bags. I save them and we dip them into coffee and it stains it pretty. It gives it that old primitive look. I also made my own labels. When you buy your paper from Walmart, it's avery.com and you can make your own labels for free and you can make all kinds of primitive labels. The whole idea is to make a candle that looks professional, but doesn't cost you very much money. Last year for my birthday, I got these jars. And so I saved these only for really important gifts. All right, let's get started. All you have to do is get an old tin can and you bend the top just to make a little bit of a spout. We're gonna fill this with wax and we'll get started. It's so much fun. My home smells like a candle factory. Oh, I just love it. I love making candles and I love the cool air, the scent of apples and leaves and fall. It's a beautiful time of the year. The seasons of the fall and Christmas time. All the cookies baking and the scent of vanilla and coffee and cinnamon. You can make so many beautiful crafts and there's so much fun to make. You can make them with your children or your grandchildren or you could just make them for yourself. An old kettle with water in it. And this kettle is only for candles. What I'm going to do is take candle wax and put it into this old tin can. Now you can buy all kinds of fancy candle making supplies, but really you don't need to. We're going to fill this up the whole way. Now you can also use this with beeswax, but it would be really expensive. So I use soybean wax. I also shared with you in a previous video last week how you can take old candles and make them new. Then you wouldn't even have to buy any wax at all. All right, so here we go. Always make sure you heat your wax on a double boiler. Basically, it's one container with water and this goes on top. And then we're going to make some tarts that you can use for a tart warmer, which is so much fun to make. These make great gifts as well. Now I got these for a couple dollars on eBay. And the, what makes it really nice is if you have labels, you put labels on your things. The labels just make things look so Fancy and festive. These labels are just a little bit bigger than what the lids are, but that's okay. We'll make them work. I want to share with you that you can use everyday items to make candles with. Here we have some styrofoam little cups. Now make sure they can hold hot liquid. These are styrofoam cups made that you could use hot liquid in it. Here we have an old TV dinner tray. We're going to make candles with this. We're just going to put the wicks like this until the wax goes in. I have some wax I just don't know where it's at to hold the clips in place. I have to find them for my next project. So we're going to have the clips like that. So the sky is a limit to making candles. And you'll see here at the end of my project what I meant by all this. You don't have to buy fancy jars. 
You can use everyday items that you have. All right, so we're gonna get started and we're gonna get working on it. I'm gonna do one jar of each so you can get an idea. Go ahead and we're gonna put some of our scent and dye. So we're gonna use orange dye because we're gonna make orange candles. Now the dye is to your liking, it doesn't matter. There's no set amount. I think that's perfect. Also the scent, I love a highly scented candle. So I add quite a bit. Oh, that smells so good. I'm gonna be having to make the candles in different batches because I'm actually making a lot today. Hold the wick in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of wax, the white wax. We're going to take our fork as the wax starts to get hard, it's going to look like frosting, like frosting on a cake. So I'm going to show you how you can make uh, cupcakes that look like birthday cupcakes. So I'll get back to you in a few moments when this wax starts to get hardened. Now we're going to frost the cake. These are just the molds. We're going to take them out of the molds. But you take some wax and you wait till it gets a little bit hardened and it looks just like cake frosting. So what we're going to do is we're going to frosting our candle. Now if I waited a little bit longer, it would be more like frosting. But I wanted to show you the different ways that you can make candles and they're so much fun. I mean, it looks like food. It looks like something you would eat. So as you see, I made it like a birthday cake, or you can make it like a muffin. So we're gonna make it like a birthday cake for this one. Then we'll use some cinnamon. So that one there looks more like a muffin. And then here we have these. So we're going to take them out of the mold. One thing nice about making candles like this, you don't have to be perfect because it's the same as food. It's a messy job, but it's so much fun. Oh, I love making candles. So I have this parchment paper here to show you something else that you can do. And once, once the wax hardened, it actually will be hard. Let's see if I can make something a little bit. And then we'll clean them up real good.
All right, I'll show you what they look like in 24 hours. It's been about 12 hours later, and I'm really happy how the candles turned out. So I'll show you in a close-up, but here they go. Here they are, and they look so good. They smell amazing. They would be great for Christmas gifts or any time of the year gifts. So let's show you what everything looks like close up. So these are really easy to take out of the molds. All you do is you're going to peel the paper away. You can do this with the large cups or small cups. So you just peel it away. And there is that one, pumpkin latte, mm, smells amazing. And then these are the, these are the ones that you can use as uh, melting. These are the wax burners. You can put them in a, a wax burner. All right, let's clean this up and let's present everything. Actually, we're gonna put the big one on the bottom. Now this one turned out a little different, but I still really like it. It smells like cinnamon bun. So we'll put that in here. Just like that. them in there like that now you can find all kinds of little wood labels I got these off of Amazon you could use for anything that you wish I use it for all kinds of gifts they're tags but it's wood it's actually really fun to make them using the tea bags we have tea bags here that we can use as labels as well